welcome back to my channel. Today is an affordable makeup glam. Super, super affordable makeup glam because makeup can be so expensive. So keep on watching if you are interested and don't forget to subscribe. First, we're going to start off with moisturizing our lips and I'm going to take my Carmex to do that. It's a good Carmex. Ooh. So I'm just going to take my Carmex and moisturize my lips. You can pick this up from Priceline. I think you can get it from Priceline. Pretty sure they're for $5. $5? Yeah, five, six dollars. The next thing that we're gonna do is take my life proof cream concealer and start concealing my eyes. This is such a good concealer and it's Mecca Max. So I'm gonna be using a lot of Mecca Max today because it is a super affordable brand with still great quality. And some things in particular I love more than others, but um overall I do think that is very good quality for their price point. So let's start with concealing my eyelids. Okay, so just taking my Zoeva 142, I'm just massaging that into my skin. I am sorry guys, I won't be using like affordable as such makeup brushes today, um, just because Zoeva are the brushes that I go to all the time, especially for filming. Um, but I do find that they are much more affordable than other brands that I have used as well. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is set over our eyes. Now, I haven't even opened my Life Proof Super Set Invisible Loose Powder by Mecca Max. This is actually new. It just came out. So I'd like to see what it looks like. And I'll let you guys know if I get any crazy flashback. <gasps> my nails are not lasting. And we're just going to set... Oh, this is very soft. We're just going to set over the eyes. You guys know how important I think it is to set over your eyes at all times. You can't leave them just cream based because it just goes like so creasy and just not nice. Always set over with a powder. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do are my brows. I'm going to take my NYX eyebrow pencil. Okay, this is actually my mum's. I, I took it from her because she uses this. So, all right, so I'm going to start by combing my brows in an upward motion. This comes with like a little brush. Strong pigment. It's definitely not moving easy. It's a little bit drier. Not too wrapped on the color. Well, that's because it is like so much darker than my eyebrows. Okay, now that my brows are filled in, I need to set them. And I don't have like a brow gel setter. So I'm going to use a mascara wand and some Tresemme hairspray, which is super affordable from Safeway. And I'm just going to spray... And then I'm going to comb up my brows. This is such a good way to keep your brows in place. I do this sometimes on photo shoots when it's like super editorial and just like definitely needing the hairs just to stay like stu super stiff. Super stiff. <laughs> Ooh, brows done. A lot darker than I'd usually do them, but brows done. Next, we're going to get into my eyes. Let's take the Burgundy Bar palette by Maybelline, which is some really beautiful plum colors. And then I'm going to take the NYX Smoky palette, which is also my mum's as well, <laughs> that I took from her today. And let's see what we can create. Taking my 228, let's find a really nice transition shade. I'm going to go from this torpy color right here. Now, I had to do my eyes first today because I do find that sometimes when I am using an eyeshadow, that is like a little less pigmented than usual or like sometimes if I am using a more you know cheaper eyeshadow palette I am scared that there is going to be a lot of fallout so I have just decided to do my eyes first today I usually do my eyes first anyway but just in case you guys were wondering if you are going to use a little bit more cheaply made eyeshadows then um, I do think it's better to do your eyes first anyway just to see okay so we're just building up that really nice torpy shade it is super soft on my skin tone um, because, you know, my skin tone's not far off this colour, so it's not going to show up as much, but I just want it there for, like, a really nice soft transition into my socket line. Next, I'm just going to take this darker shade out here, and we're just going to start to create that, like, outer V shape. Okay, really happy with this pigment so far. Definitely quite easy to spread over the eyes. Now I'm going to introduce my mum's smoky eye palette, so I'm just going to take this black shade here. And just keep applying it on the outside just to start to really smoke it up and give it a lot of definition. Okay, this black is like super patchy, unfortunately. I might abandon this little smoky eye palette for the time being and keep going with this because I find this to be a little bit more better quality. So it's just a lot easier to work with. The next product that I'm going to use is a cream eyeshadow by Revlon. The color is 750. And we're just going to use this Ulta brush here to apply it on my eyelids. Ooh, yes. Look at the pigment difference from that to that. I'm absolutely loving this cream eyeshadow. Like, it is so nice and so icy white. But now I've just got to make it, like, tie in with the rest. So I'm just going to pick up this pinky shade right here. 
and I'm just gonna start to work that like over the iciness um, and run it through my socket as well just to really build up that nice like burgundy socket color all right guys let's get on to our eyeliner I'm using the color stay exactify eyeliner and it is a rolly liner create a wing so I'm just gonna take this disc <laughs> looks like a disc not sure I'm loving the whole disc thing super impressed with the color that's for sure it's like super black Alright guys, so I'm super impressed with the way that, that liner went on my skin. It was like a lot more wet, I guess, than other liners that I'm used to using, like my pot liners. It is like much more liquidy, so I guess that will cause it to move a lot quicker on the skin. Having said that though, I did feel like the black was really, really dark pigment, so I'm super impressed. Actually, a lot more pigmented than a lot of like higher end eyeliners I've used. Move on to our multi mega multiplier Revlon mascara and pump up the lashes. It's a really good mascara. It's beautiful. Now it's time for our lashes. Now I've just gone on eBay and just typed in um, false mink lashes um, and I found these ones, five bucks, and they're like really long as well. Just applying those lashes how I would always. Okay, these lashes are long a F. Probably like a little bit too straight and long for me. They don't have like a nice shaping to them, but that's okay. That's fine. It's all about the bold glam today. Let's get into doing my face now. I'm going to take the Revlon Fill and Blur Primer and it has this very strange contraption at the top. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to apply that in the center of my face. It's a very dry primer. Am I reacting? No, we're okay. Um, okay, the thing that applies it is definitely very strange. Okay, the primer is like so thick. Okay, onto my foundation now. We're gonna go in with my Revlon Youth FX. It is FPS, uh, FPS. It has an SPF of 20 in it, so great if you're working outdoors, if you're a PE teacher, which I am not. And I'm just gonna apply that with my Sephora foundation brush. Oh, bit white for me, Dal. This foundation isn't bad at all. In terms of coverage, yes, it covers, goes on quite smooth. I think that it's quite nice. All right, let's get on to our concealer. Now, you guys know that I love my Life Proof Concealer by Mecca Max. Like, this is just a beautiful formula. It's golden as well, so it's just going to help me create a little bit more of that, like, yellow tone underneath my eyes and just in this area here, which is what I'm, like, <laughs> really trying to do because I'm trying to build up that little bit more golden on my skin because at the moment I am pink as anything. And I'm just going to apply some of my little friend over here that came up overnight. Hello. Welcome. In terms of a beauty blender, I can't use my beauty blender today. So I'm using just a little sponge from Kmart. And I'm just going to press it onto my skin. Oh my god. Oh my god, I thought that was a spider in my hair. <gasps> okay, now it's time to set our face. Let's go in with the Life Proof Translucent Powder by Mecca Max. I'm just going to take a fluffy cheek brush. And we're just going to press that all over the face. It's a really nice powder. It's definitely super thin. Yeah, still a little bit sticky. Okay, boys and girls, onto my face. Let's go in with my Astralis Contour Palette, which is, um, it's, it's, yeah, it's a little rough. So I'm just taking a 127 by Zoeva, and I'm just picking up a little bit of product here. And we're just going to contour. I'm just going to take it around my temples as well. Okay, this product's like easily spreadable, but I do find over time it can go a little patchy. So if you are going to use it, probably bring it um, with you to touch up maybe throughout the day. And just taking a fluffy brush by Zoeva and running it just really softly down my nose. Now onto my cheeks, I'm just going to take the Diamond Dust by Mecca Max, which is so beautiful. It's a highlighter as well, but I'm just going to take it on the same cheek brush that still had a little bit of contour in it and just mix it to make like a really soft bronzer and just apply it to the apples of my cheeks. So it just gives like that really nice soft shimmery bronze look. So the last thing that I'm going to do is just take this Ulta Sunkiss bronzer and just run it all around my face like I did before and just sort of add a little bit more pigment to everything and then just picking up my burgundy bar. I'm just going to take this shade right here and just my TBX fan brush, picking up the smallest amount, running it down my nose like a soft sparkle, really soft highlight. And just with my finger, I'm going to add that same shade in the inner corners as well. Now just taking a 236 and just back in with my burgundy bar, just going to take this dark shade right here and run it underneath my eyes. Just taking my Mega Multiplier Mascara again and applying it to the bottom of my lashes. Bottom lashes, I should say. 
not bottom of my lashes. And lastly for lips, I'm going to finish up with a 044 by Revlon, which is like a really soft nudie shade. And apply just a little bit of the Mecca Max lip glitter on top. Such a pretty nude. Alright guys, I'm going to finish up the tutorial right here because I haven't really found like a drugstore setting spray that I have really fallen in love with. My skin sort of reacted a bit funny to the NYX one and the L'Oreal one that I tried was leaving like white dots on my face as well. So I'm going to find a really good drugstore setting uh, setting spray um, and it's not really like a massive necessity. You don't have to spray your face. I just choose to as like an insurance thing for me. So I'm going to leave that part out. Overall... I actually really like the finish of this foundation. I think it's really nice. I love the Mecca Max products. They're like super affordable and really, really good quality. These lashes probably a little like too long and like straight for me like I was saying before. But I must say that this burgundy palette by Maybelline I'm super impressed with. And yeah, I really like my lipstick. What is that? That 044 Revlon is like beautiful. So I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know how much I appreciate it. Love you all so much. Yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Hope that you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe. See you.